probably hear it. It's raining. It's a wet season here at, in the far north Queensland. Part of northern Australia, I suppose. Um, even though it hasn't rained all the time, it's been ex exceptionally humid. So what do you do on days like that? I don't know. Um, I can't get out on the boat. You know, I want to go out fishing. Um, but, you know, things just haven't worked out that way this week. But, um, there's a couple of other things I did do. So this is the sort of new workshop area. So, <clears throat> I've got a few choices. And, um, so I've got this, um, prawn paddle tail. The water is a little bit uh, murky at the moment, so so I sort of think, oh, maybe something bright might be a uh, might be a thing to do. Um, and I haven't used one of these for a long time. Um, the gulp. Here you go. The gulp. I think they're a satay chicken range. Fancy that, satay chicken. Ah. Unreal. So, and then I've got these. These are the gulp. Salt water. Just a variant. Well, I might give one of them a go, actually. Nice colour. Tail should be whipping around a bit. Might attract a bit of attention. You know, with a tail that sort of whips around. Should be alright. Yep, this is how I got him rigged up. So we'll just see how he goes. The mosquitoes are something else at the moment. Unbelievable. We got that many mozzie coils burning everywhere, um, and still, you know, you don't seem to be able to get away from them. Anyway, <clears throat> look, the other day I started looking at some of my quantum reels. I, I bought a lot of quantum reels probably about uh, nine years ago um, because they were really well priced, and I thought they looked like a really good quality uh, reel. And uh, the other day I started looking at, you know and discovered that the line rollers um, on um, this particular reel and also on I'll just get him out if I can on this Quantum 4000 XL 4000 uh, that line roller too, that was um, just, I guess seized is probably a bit of a, a big word, but anyway, I took it all apart and um, cleaned it out and put a little bit of um, real, um, real lube in it, put it back together and now it seems to work alright. If your line roller doesn't work, it'll wear your line out, possibly even break your line under tension and, and the heat generated by the tension. So what do you do when you're bored shitless? <laughs> you want to get out and it's raining and you know, there's just not going to be much joy in being out there. Well, um, I decided uh, to um, have a look at uh, fixing up some stuff. And yesterday I had a an opportunity uh, to um, to try and do a bit of casting off the beach here. Yes, yeah, so I'm out here. <clears throat> uh, it's about uh, seven in the morning. Um, where I was yesterday, the boat ramp is absolutely packed with people. Um, there's no one here to sting an axe, and there's a ton of bait in the water. Yeah, and like a bit of a, an idiot, I forgot my GoPro because uh, I left it charging yesterday, last night in the computer. 
didn't get it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh man. Anyway, um, I'm going to go and uh, change my plastic because uh, the little paddle tail or the, uh, no, it wasn't actually paddle tail uh, that I put on yesterday um, doesn't seem to be doing anything. And um, I'm going to go for a, um, uh, like a, a squidgy uh, prawn, prawn bait type thing. All right, I'll uh, show you in a sec. Bye. Yeah, so <clears throat> I've switched to a paddle tail. Um, there's a lot of bait fish around and it's very similar in color. So we'll just see what happens. Um, it's very muggy. Um, the water's flat as, lots of boats out, uh, which is really good, um, I guess. Not really, because I should be out there as well. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to give this another 15 minutes and go home and have another cup of, cup of coffee. And get on with the day. Okay, it's really hard to cast for that. Holding a phone. So, I'm fishing with a quarter ounce weight, and I reckon that is actually too heavy for here. Um, anyway, my phone's just about to run out of charge as well. How good is that? What a great start. I think it's time for a coffee. Um, anyway. Very nice balmy morning. I'll catch you after. Yeah, so it's actually a 3.8 um, jig, which which is just jig. It's just too heavy. Um, I'm going to change it to um, uh, a 1.8. Yeah, I reckon it was just too heavy. Um, yeah, wasn't too bad for casting, I suppose, but um, yeah, too heavy. Sinks too too quick and doesn't come up. You know. Um, the water's not very, uh, not very deep. It's probably where I was fishing this morning. Um, at that tide, um, water depth is probably only just over two meters, so which, which isn't a lot. So I'll just try and get this off without damaging the the plastic. Always a bit of a trick. Right here, need to cut that. Cut that off. Might just have to cut it actually. That's it. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, like, you know, there's just there's just no comparison weight wise. You know, it's just way, way too heavy. Alright. So I bought one of these hookies things um, and tell you what, it, it does help with uh, stopping that hook winding up um, in your um, in your finger. Open her up. We'll just get rid of that little bit of tag there. Right, we'll thread this prawn back on. Very carefully, make sure it's right in the center there. And Gonna feed him through to where he was before, right in the center there. Yeah, I don't know, might have to go a little bit further. Oh no, I think that looks alright. I'm not an expert in these sort of matters, but ah, oh, look, I think that looks alright. Yeah, I think that'll swim pretty good. All right. 
we are ready to go. Oh, well, the wind's coming up a bit. Bit of a pain. That's fishing. So fish hang out around structure. The other day, we had a four meter tide, which is probably another, you know, uh, sort of uh, six, 700 mil up, which would bring it up to about, I guess about here. And there was certainly a lot of activity over here. Anyway, give it a go before this boat comes in. Yeah, that's certainly weighted a lot better. Um, it doesn't feel heavy. So it looks like this fella hasn't decided where he's going to put the boat in. Right where I'm going to cast. And it actually casts a lot better with this um, um, 1 8 jig head. Yeah, the 3 three edge is just too heavy. Probably good for a boat when you're fishing, uh, you know, in 10 or 15, 20 meters worth of uh, deep water. Anyway, it's a pretty random uh, episode, but sometimes that's just what, you know, life throws at you. It's random. Hope you enjoy it. The next one will be a lot better, I promise.